welcome my amazing viewers thank you so much for joining me on my program once again i appreciate you wherever you are connecting from if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you be notified each time i upload a video you will be among the first to receive it thank you so much and remember this whenever you look my video whenever you watch my video share the video to all platforms share it to family and friends share it in your whatsapp group so that people can get information on what is happening in the contraption called nigeria mainly against the beer france against the Duduas, against the indigenous people in the country called nigeria i try as much as possible to set the record straight i don't preach hate speech i don't speak against people i set the record straight the only important thing i do here is to make sure that the plight of the people remains on the front corner and the world will know the true story of what is going on in the country called nigeria you are looking for those who voted for buari or those who voted for gula for me they are best of the same feather and i think the recent APC convention proved conclusively that the APC and the PDP are two sides of a coin. So I don't know the base of your quarrel. Many of you, you get, also forget that when the Kaba said Jonathan will not be allowed to govern the country, we went to the street. Were you there? <laughs> Prof, you know, <laughs> led us in Lagos and Abuja. To say there is a constitution. If the president cannot be found, the vice president must take over the country. Before the National Assembly people now brought out the doctrine of the doctrine of necessity. So please, you also must be fair to history. Between 2012 and now, I have taken part in four demonstrations. My son led the Ensas protest. They started like a joke, a few of them. And some of your people called me, talk to your son. He can't continue what you were doing. I said, well, if the country hasn't changed, it's an adult. That is his own business. So please, if you are quarreling with those who demonstrated against Jonathan, we have also demonstrated against Buhari. Buhari, um, 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 uh, Oyegu, Amechi, and all that. Demonstrated against Jonathan in November 2014 over insecurity and when they now quarrel with those who demonstrate against insecurity we have reminded them now we are talking of protest and i've said it publicly obas on your this i mean in 20, 2003 buhari and others had the protest in kano they were tear gassed that was what led to the death of uh, Shuba Okadibo, he held, you know, a lot of poisonous gas. Now, Buhari led the team that came to my chamber, and I've said this publicly, we have no money. Can you please help us challenge this law that requires us to get permission to demonstrate in our country? And I went to court for them. The police lost at the high court. They went on appeal. We defeated them. We now have to remind Buhari, come. This was what they did for you. You cannot. You cannot attack those who protest against your government. And I can tell you today, by virtue of Section 83 of the Police Act of 2020, it's now stated there. During protests, the police shall provide adequate security. So those are the things we should be talking about. What's my business with uh, choosing between Jonathan and uh, Buhari? And in any case, we are told now that they may end up in the same party. So why are you wasting your time about who voted for Jonathan or who voted for Buhari? Of course, people are bound to vote for political parties of their choice. And I'm a lawyer. You don't come to the public and discuss who did you vote for. It's a personal, private matter. But for those of us who are in the radical, you know, terrain of our politics, there's no way you could have persuaded me to vote for either of them. Why did he detain me? So is that what I should be celebrating in 2015? Why did he detain me in 1984? Not for committing an offense, but for defending fella. How can I be an offense? The fella sang against them. You know, why can you be his lawyer? So what's your business with that? So please, uh, those who voted for Buhari or who campaign for, that is their business at the material time. Those who voted for Jonathan, is their constitutional democratic right? But please, leave those of us who are asking Nigerians 
to reject PDP and APC. Because it's only here. I said, oh, if I vote for Shewere, I waste my vote. If I vote for Ghani for me, I waste my vote. So it is by voting for a criminal gang that you won't lose your vote. Please. 2023 is ahead of us. And I have challenged you guys in the media. Help us to challenge these candidates. Don't let them talk about religion or their ethnicity. Ask them, what is your solution to insecurity? How do we take 60 million children off the street? Prof is talking about slavery. How are you going to stop our young people, you know, emigrating? Now, I am taking up a case, if you must know, in the Gambia. We are 55, 59 Africans, including nine Nigerians. We're going to North Africa, to Europe, via Gambia to North Africa. In 2005, that mad fellow, Yaya Jabe, killed them, all of them. But we, are, we have to pursue the matter. A panel of inquiry has just brought out a report that it was Yaya Jabe that killed those young people. We are now asking for his trial. The government will come out with his white paper in May. So it, we are not just limited here. So if somebody says, oh, why are you quarreling with those who are challenging the killers of all life? I am challenging the killers of Nigerians I never met in the Gambia. Togolese, Ghanaians, 44 of them were Ghanaians. And the last time I was in Accra, I had to go and see the president. Are you just thinking, going to allow this thing? You are a senior lawyer, sir. What do we do? He said, we are waiting for the white paper. So please, let us talk of issues as opposed to personalities who have no solutions to the problems confronting the country. If you must know, and this can be painful for us to know how important this country is. An election took place in the Gambia. And Yaya Jame said he was not going to leave. This will surprise you. The Nigerian Air Force, as part of Ekumo, merely, I think it was the Air Force jet that flew over the presidential palace. The man ran out of the house and went to hide in the hospital. Where are you now, phone? I want to hand over. You are talking of the Gambia, talking of Sierra Leone, Liberia. Nigeria restored democracy in those countries. We are now saying in our own country. Let us decide to say 2023, we are going to change the course of history. But if you go around looking for those who voted for Buhari in 2014 or 2019 or 2015, you are going to waste a lot of time and divert attention. I'm not part of this, your ethnic uh, parable agenda. Oh, the enemies of certain part of the country voted for Buhari. No, I, I, I couldn't have voted for Buhari anyway. You know, because they were, for me, even those of you who say, oh, these parties are small. Some of us prefer to vote for those candidates. You know, because we also believe you can challenge the status quo. So please, let us now begin this business, you know of challenging killers of our people, of challenging slave traders in this modern era, of challenging those who are arresting and detaining people and making money every day. If you don't know about that, every police station outside, weekends, young people are arrested on the street. What do you do? On the street. And you are taken to either SSS, EFCC, and the rest of them. And I have said this publicly, you guys in the media have never joined me. There is no section of the law that allows the SSS to arrest anybody or detain anybody. Please, if you see an SSS official, ask them, please, what section of the law? It's another grand police unit, sir, like branch E. You think it's branch E? E branch, they used to call it. If you get your information, you give it to the police. Could this another grand organization? You get your information, you give to the police to process. But now they are wearing uniform, wearing masks in the modern society. So please, these are the issues to address. And each of the candidates must be made to respond to these questions. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much for your patience to watch from the beginning to the end. I hope you have learned something from the video you have just watched. The video you have just watched is to bring information to your doorstep and for educational purpose. It is not to demonize anybody. Let us watch continuously and see who can be able to make a sense out of every nonsense we are seeing. We must continue. We move. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you notify each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remember bless. Bye bye. See you again. <music>